Welcome to my second video of my Minecraft world. Um, I'd like to actually give you a tour of my home base, but I want to continue this for people who don't know about Minecraft and let you look around. I have mentioned before, this is my transportation hub. What you see that I'm standing on right now are torches, which provide light. You, the blue line I mentioned before, or the cloud top line, and we've got the red line here. Some other things that you might not have seen before is the blue is water. The red and fiery looking stuff is considered lava, which you do run into this world. I have other things around here. You can see below me a big glass brick building. That is my home base. Surrounded by some man-made pools, and I'll explain in a few minutes what those exist for. And it's in a quite interesting area. It's in a corner right next to uh, a mountainside. It has some very fascinating shaped mountain structures which happen in Minecraft. Again, you see the clouds and you see the sun up above. It's getting close to, oh, probably about 11 o'clock in the morning right now in the Minecraft game time. What you see right there is a ladder, and I'm going to climb down that ladder and go into my home base. So I've now dropped into my home base, and I can give you a few more things about my home base here. Uh, you can make artwork in Minecraft. The actual art is kind of a uh, pre-created set of images. Um, however, you can decorate things. You can build bookcases. That's what these are. Uh, more torches. There's a bed that you can sleep in if you don't want to go out at night. And it's quite useful not to go out at night because monsters come out at night. Other things that you see here, you see some doors, you see some paving bricks, staircases. Um, this right here is called a cactus farm. Cactus is very interesting. You saw it earlier in video one where it grows to a height of three. If you put items next to cactus, like this brick that I've highlighted right here, when the cactus grows, it'll actually drop a square of cactus. It'll get caught in the water and dropped right here. So it has an automatic way of creating cactus. You can find Cactus Farm if you search YouTube for other videos. Uh, this area right here is very interesting. The, uh, my home base is also called a monster killer. And the way to create a monster killer is to create a big, deep, dark cave. And what happens is monsters spawn in that cave. I don't know if you can see it in the video. You might be able to see some red pixels off in the distance. There's one over there. That's a spider. They will eventually come and try to, of course, kill you. This is a game. Well, spiders... Oh, look! There's a creeper. There's a creeper. Now, creepers are another monster out there. Now he sees me. He's going to come close to me. I'm going to actually step over here and try to make that creeper come towards me, which is what they want to do. They want to actually attack you and... and cause you damage. There he comes. So now he's jumping around here. I want him to fall in the water. So I'm going to step over here and when I do he is gone but he's actually fallen into this water right here which is there he is. You Can you see him right there standing around? Well he's drowning. He can't get up from that water and I will come down here pick up a cactus cube and then you can see the creeper just kind of blinking over there as he slowly starts to drown. Now he wants to kill me, and there he did. He just died. And when he dies, he drops things. And the water picks them up, and the current brings the things that get dropped into this center area right here, which then I can then pick up. So I have an automatic way of killing monsters that doesn't hurt me, and they just provide me with resources for the game. Here comes another creeper. Let's get him to fall into the water. Maybe I can have you see him do it. There he is. He's bouncing up there. He wants to kill me really badly. So I'm going to come over here and plunk. Into the water he goes. He starts his wonderful little drowning process over here. There he is over there. I'm getting closer. I'm actually fighting against the current, so it's very hard to do, but now you see him blinking. That means he's running out of air. As a player, I can run out of air and die too, so you have to be very careful. And, well, unfortunately, he didn't drop anything for me to pick up. Well, oh, I did pick up something. Uh, you didn't see it, but I picked up two pieces of gunpowder, which is what they drop. And gunpowder has a very interesting property. You can take gunpowder, 
and you can collect it and you can turn gunpowder and sand into TNT. So let me continue my tour a little bit. I built a tree inside here. These green things you're seeing here are actually reeds and they're growing. Now, if you noticed before, these were only one high. If I harvest them, which I just did, I get, I get more reeds and I can actually turn that into paper or I can turn that into sugar. I can also replant them, but notice I have more than I started with, so I can use that to break baked bread and other things. So I'm growing them. Another thing I have here is what's called infinite water. You can also look this up, but if you have a bucket, you can scoop up this water and the water instantly replaces itself. And having infinite water is a very useful thing later on in the game. So this is my home base. It is a monster killer. Some other tributes about the monster killer is that um, along with those large jump outside here along with those large dark caves that cause the monsters to show up you also have areas of flowing water so if a monster steps in the water over there the water causes him flow to that point if the water causes him flow to that point he'll step this way automatically and flow to this area and then he'll start noticing that I'm in my home base come in here and fall into the water and die That's a closer view of the cavern that I actually carved out of the mountain. I've got two caverns. Uh, some of the plans for monster killers ask for four of them. These cactus here are at the edge because one of the monsters can't fall in there. One of the monsters are spiders. They're too wide to actually fall in. But since they're too wide and they see you, they try to capture you. They run into the cactus and they damage themselves. So I'm going to go through my door here. And I'm going to step on a little plate up there, which automatically closes my door for me, right there. Door's closed. And I think this is a good tour of my home base. I hope you enjoyed it. My next two videos are going to be going on some of the roller coasters I've built.